Have you ever wondered why more and more people are calling supercomputers high-performance computers, or HPCs for short? I used to think it was just a marketing ploy. But after my recent interviews with Steve Conway at the International Data Corp, or IDC, and Carl Clunch at Gartner, I've seen the light. The reason we should call supercomputers HPCs is that they are not just for weather prediction, economic forecasting, and esoteric scientific research anymore. In fact, the era of big data has made HPCs a necessity for virtually all businesses. Everything from stock market profiles to new pizza toppings are currently being picked by HPCs using thousands or even millions of data points streaming into businesses in real time. The bad news is that the programming skills to harness the power of HPCs are in short supply. But hopefully Go Parallel is helping to educate programmers of the world in how to write the parallel algorithm needed to harness the power of HPCs. Parallel programming is no longer black magic now that Intel and others are offering a host of excellent tools and tutorials on how to parallelize algorithms. And luckily, the kind of algorithms that businesses need today to harness the power of HPCs are very amenable to parallelization, namely simulations that allow them to model the future, making educated guesses at where the markets are going and what kind of products need to be created to cash in on those trends. Today, simulations running on HPCs are virtually eliminating the need to build hardware prototypes anymore since most of the work performed by wind tunnels, crash dummies, and the like can be easily modeled with a parallel processor. And the more cores your HPC has, the more accurate will your models be and the faster your product will get to market. The bottom line here is that if you don't start harnessing the power of parallel HPCs, then your competitors will. Now the good news. You don't need a million dollars anymore to buy a supercomputer. In fact, if you already have a server with a PCI Express bus, then all you need to do is buy a Xeon Phi coprocessor to get 60 parallel cores. And if your simulations don't run fast enough then, all you need to do is plug in another Xeon Phi. According to IDC and Gartner, even mid-sized businesses are getting in on the action by adding Xeon Phi coprocessors to their servers. And large businesses are going further by buying thousands of Xeon Phi coprocessor cards because it's the cheapest way to boost the performance of an x86 HPC. As a result, over 50 vendors are currently offering Xeon Phi upgrades to turn even ordinary servers into HPCs. But don't take my word for it. Click the links below to read the, what IDC and Gartner have to say about Xeon Phi based HPCs and to see a list of its ecosystem of vendors.